begin first by slicing and chopping our mushrooms. We're going to chop our mushrooms so that they're very fine. Now, a duck cell is a simple mixture of shallots, mushrooms, and here today we're going to add a little bit of heavy cream and breadcrumbs. Duck cell can be used in a couple different areas as a stuffing or a filling or a coating on top of a product that's going to be cooked. It will help retain some moisture inside of the product or on top of it. Now that our mushrooms are nice and fine into our bowl and we're ready to cook. So begin with our duck cell by heating our pan up first and getting a little clarified butter into it. You want to make sure your pan's hot as always. We're going to begin with our shallots. You can hear them sizzle as they hit the pan. You really want to monitor your pan. You want to make sure that it's not too high or too low. You're looking at the shallots, making sure that they're not browning. And as they begin to cook, they begin to release this wonderful aroma. Now it's time for our mushrooms. We can hear the pan begin to roar from all those mushrooms. It's a lot of moisture that's going to be cooked off here. Let's take a few minutes to cook our mushrooms down to get out all that flavor, to get out all that moisture. You're actually going to see the, the mushrooms shrink down quite a bit. Now our mushrooms have cooked down. Almost all the moisture is removed. Pan's looking a little bit dry. We're going to put a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Let it stir in. We're going to give it a little taste. Good. Now we're going to add our heavy cream. We're going to let this cook down. Just takes about two to three minutes. Right now you're looking at the heavy cream, it's very white. It's going to turn the same color as the mushrooms, a nice beautiful brown color. Now we're going to turn our flame down even lower. We're going to season again with some more salt, a pinch of pepper. The last thing we're going to do is put in our breadcrumbs. And stir in our breadcrumbs. Allow this to cook just for a few minutes. I'm going to shut the flame off. Let it stay warm. Let those breadcrumbs soak up. We're going to taste it again. Pretty good. Allow the duck cell to cool before you use it, before you fill something or stuff something with it.